welcome back to our channel. We're Dos Cavazos, and this is Castlevania Season 3, Episode 5. So in the last episode, we saw Lenore and Hector kind of come to an understanding, I feel like. That relationship is going to develop, in my opinion, and I honestly feel, you know, Hector kind of had that conversation, or at least alluding to the fact that, you know, he can control these creatures of the night regardless. They're going to listen to the Forge Master, mm -hmm. and... I, I don't know. I feel like she's almost going to kind of keep it romantic with him. Like, I feel like that's the trajectory of where their relationship's going. But I feel like she's doing that so that he doesn't have the inclination to want to turn on them. But I don't know if she actually has genuine interest in him or it specifically is just because, you know, she's just using him as a tool. Yeah, the another thing with Hector, too, is if he does make these night creatures for them, he mm -hmm. they ultimately will listen to him anyway. So I, to me, it's just a matter of time before he potentially uses that to his advantage. You would think he would, unless he didn't learn from his past mistakes and still, like, trusts Carmilla. There's something to be said about the fact that Lenore kind of presented to Hector that Dracula wasn't telling you the whole truth. But in that same, like, light, Carmilla kind of put him into the situation to pretty much degrade it to, like, to the point of where it's gotten. He doesn't really have a whole lot of options, so it only makes sense that he is going to kind of continue down this path. It's just, will he be able to get out of it? I really like his character, and like, it sucks to kind of see him in the mm -hmm. situation. On the flip side, Isaac, it, I feel bad for him. Like, he, every time he has a little bit of semblance of mm -hmm. like, okay, humanity is not the worst thing in the world. It seems like he runs at the bad people, and then it just kind of puts him back like, oh, you know, I, I said I wasn't going to go there, I said I wasn't going to go there, and then he ends up going there. So, I don't know what his motivation is going to be after this. We obviously saw him trying to take out the town and, you know, making a whole bunch more night creatures and whatnot, but will his motivation, would that conversation with that captain resonate with him, and will he want to rule, or is he kind of going to go down that same path and want to just kill all the humans? All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reactions. We also do have a second channel called Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content, and if you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. What the hell are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm talking to you, Trevor Belmont. This is where he comes to reflect? What the actual hell are you thinking? <laughs> Did he just punch himself? Or slap himself? You're excommunicated. You have no family. You have no friends. You got Cypher? Is he scared of commitment? Wait. What? Yeah, I saw that earlier. That wasn't there yesterday. Are you sure that's not just some kid fucking around? It's like hooligans. Children do not run around defacing property with knives in my town. Hmm. Is that what those other people did? I started looking around. Gonna get in trouble. What is that? A stone? A magic stone. It's here. It's really here. What's here? The creature? I feel like he's gonna see something they don't want anyone to see. I feel like that creature is it down the creature? there. It's gotta be the creature. Oh, oh shit, that was very inconvenient. That was spooky. I haven't walked down yet. And I absolutely am. Except that you appear to be in front of me. Why do you think I would believe you were looking for someone to piss down here? <laughs> Well, I, I, I recently spent time in the free imperial city of Frankfurt, where public toilets are often accessed by step. He's got a silver tongue. But what's down there? There is bad magic being done in that place, Saint Germain. Bad magic. What exactly is it? There is a thing I am in search of inside the Priory. It is occult in nature. It is quite safe if operated wisely. Mm. Yes, I am quite sure something else is going on in there. It stinks of night creature. Oh, the symbol. Oh, the symbol. Oh, that's worrying. This does seem odd. Odd. <laughs> now he's in it on it too. Are they gonna try to like sacrifice the town? Why is your sword so long? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're having fun! I'm glad he has friends now. Mm. 
They kind of gave each other a weird look. Did you see that? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was nothing. Hopefully they're not trying to plot something weird. Mm. Have you heard of the infinite corridor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I suppose this was the wrong company to unveil ancient occult secrets in and expect to be impressive. <laughs> Only one of my family ever encountered it. She said it was like a door into countless levels of hell. It was in a castle in Livonia. Mm, I feel like it's at the prior. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think it's like a teleportation device or something? It is in fact a system of doors to other lands, separated from our own by space and time. A long time ago, I lost someone very dear to me in the infinite corridor. What? And I have been looking for a way back in ever since. Really? There is a portal to the infinite corridor under the Priory. They haven't let me go down there yet, but I know it's there. A night creature landed on a Priory that has a portal to other worlds under it. What if that was not an accident? Mm-hmm. Well. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how okay. you didn't connect those dots. So, I mean, I was connecting those dots. I don't know. On to the portal? See, okay, so that portal had to have been there. If it is a gateway to hell, and these night creatures have, in theory, they're like, you know, demons from from hell, um, maybe it's looking for a way back, <laughs> in all honesty. Maybe that is, like, as simple as that. Yeah, or maybe it can also, like have portals to other worlds, maybe people can get trapped, maybe that's who yeah. he's referring to. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like some sort of like love, whether it's a family member or it's yeah, like a love, love interest, interest or anything like that, that he probably had lost at some point along the way. Kind of very reminiscent for me of Hank Pym if it mm. was a love interest. <laughs> so Alucard seems to be making friends with Sumi and Taka, mm. but they did give each other kind of a weird look. It could have been nothing, but I was like, I noticed it enough to like mention something about it because yeah. I was like, oh, I really hope they're not scheming whether they're still working for the other vampire, I don't think that would be the case. I feel yeah. like if anything, maybe they would want to like take the castle for themselves, or maybe they still hate vampires in general, and they're just trying to win them over. I hope not. I hope I'm just reading into it, and it mean it meant nothing. Maybe they were just happy to be there. Yeah, I know. I kind of I saw the look you mentioned. I, I thought about it more after you pointed it out, but at, in the moment, I was really just thinking like, oh, you know, it's nice to be here yeah. type of look, and they just like an, an extended mm -hmm. look at each other. But I mean. We'll see how, like, this relationship plays out. Like, we'll see if there's anything... Because it's not going to be something that's going to be super overt. If anything, yeah. it's going to be, a, like, hints at things. Like, them sneaking off places when they're not supposed to or something like that. Um, that, that idea of them working for their for their previous master really just was just a random thought I had in my head. I mean, who really knows? Like, maybe she lived that attack. I can't remember if she was killed during that attack or not. Yeah. Um, but if she had lived during that attack... Uh, she could, in theory, have made her way back home and said, okay, well, Dracula's dead. Now's my time to take op an opportunity to, mm -hmm. to seize this castle. A little smile won't kill you. Good boy. Now then, would you like to go for a walk? I feel like he's being treated like a dog. Mm -hmm. There's a condition. Oh, oh I really gosh. feel like you're being a dog. Ah! Would you mind? Don't do it, stay. Fine. Good boy. Like, even the way she's talking to him is like a dog, mm -hmm. you know? Like, go for a walk. Like, you wanna go outside? Like, what the fuck could that, like, really do? Yeah. Like, it can't it's do just, much. I feel like it's just to, like, yeah, humiliate it's just... him. Nobody here wants to harm you. We just don't quite trust you yet. You did try to hurt me, Hector. But as if he <laughs> could actually hurt them, though, oh. like. No. This way. Are they gonna give him like a bed? Like a nicer room? Mm -hmm. A the chair? Desk. And a book. Uh, a blanket and hay. Wow, you mm -hmm. get a cage still. <laughs> Hector, don't trust so easily. She's just doing she's, that on purpose. I know, she's sinking her teeth into him. I mean, this is the trajectory of where I thought this may go. Mm -hmm. Would it be weird for me to just say that I'd prefer, you know, if those two just wanted to, like, do this whole army, I'd feel more okay yeah. with it than, than if it was Carmilla? Like, Carmilla just rubs me the wrong way. She just bothers me. I'm, like, I know she's manipulating him, yeah. too, but 
I don't know, I just respect her as a vampire. That's always like the, <laughs> the vampire vamp kind of way, kind of manipulating <laughs> your way to get what you want, you know? Oh, oh, oh the they're carving, doing a thing. Yeah. I feel like it is sacrificing, right? Probably. Like maybe they have to sacrifice enough people to open up the damn gate, you know? Is he Having dreaming? nightmares? Yeah. He's like going to the upside down. What, what the fuck? heck? Is that like what the portal looks like? Or is this still just like his dream? Or is he remembering? Yeah. This is where you lost someone? Is he staying at the church? Because he let him in. <laughs> what is this? Is this like in the future? Like what the Maybe, fuck? Or like another world that has it's just Tatooine, uh, like <laughs> uh, uh. A spaceship? The Death Star? Uh, a croissant? <laughs> <laughs> a, it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. It looks like this is like futuristic. Yeah, like it's like tech. A, But also the past? Right. Is that him? It's to all times? No, not him. All realities? Cannot even tell what he's seeing right now. Like, is this a dream? Is it actually happening? And who are you looking for? Another door. Books! That's a crazy. Oh my gosh, it's like some freaking Doctor Where? Strange shit. Is what? that who? It's just a silhouette. Are you sure that's the person you're looking for? <gasps> Wait. Was it the stone? No, was it, that, okay, this is when you got it, probably. That's how we got, yeah, yeah okay. that's how we got the stone. Okay. And so he's just try, been trying to he's get back ever since. He's remembering then, okay. That's crazy, he saw all those different things. Mm -hmm. The cows? Like, can you keep it down? It's like, you all right, bro? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's Isaac. Where is the one who can talk well? Sit with me a moment. I've been given much to think about of late. May I ask a question of you? Do you remember who you were before mm -hmm. you went to hell? I almost do. I remember how it was to dream and to remember moments of the dream, but never the entire play. What do you remember? I was a scholar. I was hunted. I was tortured. I lied for my life. In a church. Before a judge. Thank you for my second life. I intend to use it well. He's gonna try and bring back everyone from hell. At least that's where I'm getting going with that. Um, I think Isaac's just going, he's going through a character change. He's, he's looking like, for a purpose, I feel like, right now. I don't know. I just, I kind of feel like when he heard that story, it kind of reminded him of what happened with Lisa a little bit. Uh, he talked about Christians and whatnot. Now, mind you, I feel like it was more so the, the church that kind of like took that push with Lisa there. Um, but regardless, I don't know where his character is going to go yet. I feel like it's going to go down the path of Dracula or that he's going to kind of hear that and want to give these people like a second chance and like that's only going to incentivize him to bring back more souls from hell as it comes to saint germain though it seems like the person he lost was a love interest and we obviously saw like the portal which i'm kind of assuming now is a time machine yeah it kind of looks like a time machine or like a portal through time i don't yeah. know we saw a lot of like stuff that looked like very tech you know, technology, yeah. and then it also looked like back in the past. Like as spaceships well. and like these walkers. So I'm kind and... of. Con I'm not, I, I didn't expect the show to go in that direction. No, so I didn't that's either. That's what I'm of, saying. It felt like nothing we yeah. would have ever seen in this show to see like spaceships and whatnot. All right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full length reaction to this series. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.